I'm Ryan McCaffrey for IGN News. As Google's driverless cars continue to travel across the country, they're experiencing one of the hazards of being on the road, fender benders. Google cars have been the victims of 14 small accidents since they initially deployed in 2009. 11 of them have been rear enders, the most recent of which being the one that took place on July 1st. According to the data, the car was struck from behind by a human driver going 17 miles per hour. No major damage was done to the Google car, although the other car did lose a bumper. This is the first time in the self-driving car's lifespan that anyone reported any injuries, resulting in four people suffering minor whiplash. Google's Chris Urmson spoke about these accidents, claiming they were caused by human error and not a malfunction of the car's computing or system mechanics. Urmson wrote in a self-published blog post, quote, our self-driving cars are being hit surprisingly often by other drivers who are distracted and not paying attention to the road. He explained that the data collected on the car involved in the accident revealed they hadn't attempted to brake, leading them to collide with the driverless car. It's an unfortunate event, but one that Urmson realizes is a possibility and even sees as a net positive. He adds, although we don't like getting hit, there's a silver lining here. We all want to know how self-driving cars are measuring up against their human counterparts, but the statistics we need to do this simply aren't ordinarily gathered. Other drivers have hit us 14 times since the start of our project in 2009, and not once has the self-driving car been the cause of the collision. Instead, the clear theme is human error and inattention. We'll take all these as a signal that we're starting to compare favorably with human drivers." End quote. For more on cars, whether you're driving them or not, keep it tuned right here to IGN.